Number six, the mass of the Earth is 5.972 times 10 to the 24 kilograms, and its orbital radius is an average of 1.496 times 10 to the 11 meters. Calculate its linear momentum. All right, so first let's start with the question. So they want us to calculate linear momentum. And therefore, in order to calculate min linear momentum, I need to know this formula over here on the right-hand side, where linear momentum, whoops, linear momentum will equal the mass of the object that's moving multiplied by then the linear velocity. Okay, so do we know the linear velocity in this problem? No, they didn't tell it to us, right? And we have to remember that Earth is traveling here, right, on a... Um, orbital path, right? It's traveling around a circle. We have to remember back to chapter six, right? How do we find linear velocities, right? Given circular motion. And we should recall this formula that the linear velocity, I'm gonna put it on the right-hand side, that the linear velocity is equal to the radius of the orbit multiplied by the angular velocity, okay? So therefore, what I'm going to do now is substitute in r omega for v in my uh, formula here. So the momentum is equal to the mass of the object multiplied by the radius times their, uh, times then the angular velocity. Now, do we know the mass of the Earth? Yeah, they gave it to us. Do we know the radius of the orbit? Yes, we do, they gave it to us. Do we know the angular velocity? No, we don't. So let's do some investigation. Angular velocity, if you remember, deals with, uh, or the units I should say are in radians per second, right? So the units here of omega are in radians per second. Now, if you remember back, right, radians are related to revolutions, right? So we might know the revolutionary period of the Earth in its orbit. Don't we know that in order for the Earth to go around once in its orbit, it will take Let's do the, uh, let's put it this way. So one revolution, it will take a year, right? So one revolution per year. We know that. So now what my job is, is to take one revolution per year and convert it into radian per second. All right, so I'm gonna do the conversion uh, down. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna put in the formula. So let me, I'm gonna plug in the one revolution per year and do the conversion right in the formula itself, okay? So the momentum here will be equal to the mass of the Earth, which they told us was, actually, let me back this. Let me move it over a little bit. I'm probably gonna need some room. So 5.972 times 10 raised to the 10 raised to the 24th, multiplied by the radius. They told us the radius was 1.496 times 10 raised to the 11th. Now multiplied by the angular velocity, but I know the angular velocity right now is one radian per one year. I gotta get rid of radians. Remember that two pi, uh, excuse me, one revolution, not radian yet. Apologize guys, I almost jumped the gun there. One revolution per uh, one year. Okay, remember that there are two pi radians for every one revolution, and therefore I can do my first conversion, put down the one revolution down here and the two pi radians on the top, and notice the revolutions cancel. Now my job is to convert year into second. So put year on the top, days on the bottom, all right? In one year, there are 365 days. And we have, I'm, see, I knew it was gonna run out of room, right? Actually, let me just erase this now. We don't really need it anymore. I'm gonna erase this too. So now um, the years cancel, okay? Days on the top, hour on the bottom. One day is 24 hours, days cancel and then hour into second, okay? So hour on the top, second on the bottom, one hour is 3,600 seconds. 3,600. Okay, great. And now we just gotta throw this all into the calculator and we're gonna get our answer. So 5.972 times 10 to the 24th times 1.496 times 10 to the 11th multiplied by two times pi and then that all divided by parentheses now 365 times 24 times 3600. And there it is. The momentum will be 1.78 times 10 to the 29th, times 10 to the 29th, and the units here are kilogram meter per second. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for tuning in. Please remember to hit that subscribe button. It would mean a tremendous amount to me as well as my sister. We're trying to work very hard for you guys and it's very motivating to see the numbers rise. So um, I thank you very, very much. Have a great day.